So I'm here with England assistant coach Graham Roundtree to discuss the, the front row situation uh, before England Wales uh, this weekend. Uh, Graham, you've still got all seven front rows from your initial 45. Um, does that say a bit about the competition you've really got in the front row? Yeah, I think so. And also, coming into the camp, we had injuries to David Wilson and Andy Sheridan, which we needed to cover to get some viable training done early in the camp. Um, the more props around, the better. It gives me someone to speak to every day. It's a very specialist position, and if you're going to have good 15 on 15 sessions or 8 on 8 sessions within forward sessions, you need all the numbers there. Mm. And it's a, it's a tough position, so there's always guys injured. So the more we have around in this warm-up camp, the better. But that's also made it very competitive. Uh, and I've been delighted with all of them. They've all got fitter. Uh, they're all in real good nick, the best nick of their lives, some of them. And in terms of selection dilemmas, well, that's what we want. Um, how do you rate the performances of the props we saw in the Investing International against Wales last Saturday? And what can you take from that towards this Saturday? Well, I was particularly pleased with Matt Stevens. Um, tight head prop is technically, uh, physically as well, probably the hardest position on the field. Um, he's not played there in a senior game for two and a half years. And to put in the performance he did at the weekend, I was pleased with him. He's not the finished article. He'd be the first to admit that. I was pleased with him, as of the performance of Dylan. And uh, Alex Corbusiero, he's still a young man, uh, playing in the front row of Test Rugby. And I was pleased uh, with how he went. We scored a, a nice try off a five-metre scrub where James picked the ball and put it over the line. A real tough skill for him. Um, no, I, was, I was pleased with how he went and it was good to see David Wilson back on the field after some injury issues and Lee Mears um, but going down there historically is always tougher away from home and there's a possibility of them maybe changing a few of their front row players so we'll need to increase our efforts there this week I think to the untrained eye it's sometimes difficult to understand what's going on at scrum time mm. so can you explain a bit about what the quality each of the seven props you're considering for the World Cup have and you know, what they bring to the party? Well, it's a very specialist position. The loose head prop, number one, has his head loose on the outside of the opposition tight head prop. So his work is very left-sided. He uses his head from left to right, he uses his left arm to bind onto the tight head. The hooker's the only guy in the field stuck in the middle with his hands tied behind his back. So that requires a different mentality to a lot of other players. They're not normal people hookers. But he has to be in charge, so we have to hookers are really in charge of the forward pack. Tight head prop, historically, the larger the props, because he's taking all the pressure, because his head is locked tight in between the hooker and the loose head. So he's got to be able to withstand a lot of pressure. But these days as well, he's got to be able to dish it out. Very tough, technically, to keep his body shape in a good pushing position. So that's what he's got to do. The hooker hooks the ball. But these days, not many people hook the ball. We literally walk over the ball. If you look at some of the footage from the 70s and the 80s, the hooker would be almost horizontal trying to hook the ball. These days we walk over it. So the, they're all three of them are very difficult, difficult and different technical positions. Now, if you've got a prop who can play both sides, then he's gold dust in terms of his value to a squad. We're going to shoehorn so many positions in, into 30 places. Matt Stevens can play both sides. Um, Paul Doran Jones can play both sides, although he hasn't done as much loose head as Matt Stevens has. So we need good technicians on both sides of the scrum. Are you asleep then? I'm not. <laughs> Finally, um, Wales may have an all Lions front row up against your front row on Saturday. What sort of challenges does that present with the massive experience they've got there? Um, it's, it's a similar challenge to what they had last week. I actually think the front row they had out last week has progressed. I think Wales have really added to their depth of forwards over the last couple of years. And um, I think they they were as pretty good technically. But I think the Lions guys will just bring a bit more experience. So what, what does experience mean? What does it mean, sorry? It means you're able to adapt to different situations quicker than other players. Not different if you get yourself into a funny position at the scrum. It's correcting yourself out of that scrum. And they'll, be, they'll be a bit more wily, I think is the expression, than any younger players. So we've got to be ready for that. But what we do a lot of is just worry about what we do in terms of the scrum. That's keeping a good shape in the engagement because I'm sick of seeing scrums collapse.
and I tell the guys here I won't pick them if they keep collapsing. So we just worry about what we're doing in that scrum because we want a good scrum, ball in, ball out. Or well, sometimes we keep it in for, for a bit longer. A bit more TV time. A bit more TV. They love that, don't they, on the TV? <laughs> scrum total time. I look at that and go, oh no. <laughs> um, so we'll, we'll be worrying about them, but we'll be focusing on us. Thanks a lot and good luck Saturday. Pleasure. That should send a few people to sleep on Facebook.